Almighty God, we come before you this morning, Lord, and just praise you for who you are, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And I thank you for what you've done for making a way for us through the wilderness of this uh, crazy mixed up world. God, I looked up this meeting today, the people that are here, uh, our commissioners, and I ask you for a spirit of wisdom. I pray that you would guide them with your hand of divine providence that it guided the founders of our country and help create the, the nation that we enjoy today. And I pray as they go about their responsibilities, Lord, that they can be conduits of your love and reflectors of your light and uh, that your wisdom would rest on them. And Lord, I thank you for their service. Uh, I lift up our law enforcement and firefighters, teachers, other public servants that are out there making a difference. I pray you protect them and encourage them and help our community to support them. Uh, Lord, we know who you are and what you've done, and we thank you and praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Pastor. Um, we're, we're a little bit out of order here, so if everybody can have a seat for a second. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. going to sit for a meal during the... We welcome all our visitors today and appreciate your participation. If you need to have personal conversations, please step outside. Also, if you have cell phones, we yeah, would ask you to put them on silent during today's meeting. Clerk the board, please call roll. Commissioner Rowan? Present. Commissioner Wilcox? Commissioner Ross? Present. With the quorum present, I call the order of this meeting of the Elbert County Board of County Commissioners, convening this 14th day of September 2016 at 9.04 a.m. Uh, we've done the invocation. Thank you very much, Pastor Jane. Mr. Harris, would you please give us some question? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Commissioners, we have before us an agenda. Are there any changes to today's agenda? Mr. Wilcox uh, indicated that uh, perhaps a rewording of item number two on the new business. We have to set the agenda to start. Do you have a motion? I would have a motion to change the agenda to, uh, since they adjust the language that we presented regarding the budget. Okay, so under item number two. Under item number two, current, the current proposal straight states uh, direct county manager to re-engage with elected officials and department heads to make provisions to current draft budget not to exceed 2016 expenditures. I would like to uh, amend that to state that uh, direct the county manager to re-engage with elected officials and department heads to present a budget based on incremental budgeting, which includes statutory, contractual, and departmental increases, resulting in a balance of the 2017 projected revenue. Additionally, we would like to see the reserves equal to or greater than the 2016 reserves. Second. Discussion. I reserve my discussion for when we get to the app. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passed. Clerk of the board, did you get that on I believe Commissioner Mohawk was going to do that. Okay. Chair would move on item number three under new business for this to read direct community development services to work with county manager on budget development period strike absent of DOCC oversight for working on budget revisions. 
I would uh, recommend leaving that here simply because, just for clarification purposes, since the Board of County Commissioners still is officially the oversight and supervising uh, entity for CDS, I think it just may, helps clarify the, um, the intent of what we're trying to accomplish for this particular matter. I, would certainly, uh, I don't think it harms anything, it just it gives, it gives additional uh, clarity, clarity to the uh, intent of what we're trying to accomplish. So I would uh, recommend leaving that. Um, I find this statement absent the OCC oversight to be uh, confusing the issue. So if anybody doesn't misconstrue it or intent not to, to interfere with or meddle in uh, the work of the county manager and the budget team with all the uh, other departments, um, in, including uh, CDS, uh, this language is more uh, directly communicated by saying direct community development services to work with the county manager on budget development. You know, the only thing with Robert, I was looking at that and I thought, after the BOCC oversight, I had a thought. The first part is pretty, pretty cool. I thought it would do the same. That's why I kind of thought, it's after the BOCC oversight, well, does that actually apply to this case? I don't know. Because there may, may come a time when we may have to provide some oversight in this. So that's why I kind of thought, those two reasons. I mean, the first sentence pretty much said. All right. Uh, let me do this. Based upon the comments that we were making here on being on the record and for stating the intent. And that's what we're really trying yeah. to accomplish. That's what we're really trying to do. And I, I don't have a problem then with the amendment as long as we understand that the board is basically saying that while we are the supervisors for CBS, we are going to stand down on this particular uh, item while CBS works and, and directly with the county manager and the budget team on the budget development um, of the draft that we expect to get in the next week, 10 days, two weeks, and that it doesn't require the board's oversight or approval or interaction as a normal supervisor relationship might. As long as we understand that, I think that's what Commissioner Ross said too, and it's, it's on the record as being clear. I have <coughs> I understand it clear. Yeah, I, I believe what this does is, is clarify what the expectations of the board are. So, uh, given that the uh, motion has been made and seconded, all in favor, aye. 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 Motion passes. Um, Chair, would uh, offer a motion to change, uh, or add actually, uh, item four. Um, this was actually contemplated in our Chair moves to have outside counsel Steve Larson to be available to participate in executive session on September 28, 2016, via telephone conference. Additionally, Steve Larson to participate, if necessary, in BOCC proceedings, including executive session on the 11th of October. So we've got three opinions on the issue. I do clearly believe it's time to bring that issue to a 
close into a, to a head and do a final conclusion. And uh, considering all three of those, giving everybody time to get up to speed on it. We spent $21,636 on Johnson and Bucci to date. Most of that is for open record requests, um, a lot of which I still, uh, in long record, is supposing as being unauthorized, but that's another matter. So I would um, suggest that in lieu of not spending any more taxpayer resources and, and moving forward with what I think is the product that we uh, were waiting to hear from him on, I don't believe we need to incur any more expense by having actually available um, for that meeting to explain what I think is clearly explained in the report. I would, I would, I would uh, recommend that we save those resources for other needs. My take on this is that we have come a long way towards concluding this matter uh, and have relied on council's participation in this and to not have the option available uh, to consult with them to bring this to a close would be a mistake in my view. Um, it could be that uh, this participation uh, in a follow-on next month may not be necessary. I think the line was read, be available, right? Correct. Okay, so we're, we're not under any, we're not obligated at that point, there's no charge, right? Correct? Just, or is there a charge for him to be available? If, if, if while in the executive session, these questions arise, he'll be available to call him on the call. Okay, but at that point, unless we call him, there are no charges incurred in the county, correct? Okay. And, well, I don't know that we're even going to have to communicate with the man, but I thought if we, we start through things and start and get into a situation where we're not sure what to do or what way to turn or need some clarification, I thought that would be a resource we could use. And that was the one reason I thought that having that individual available, if we need it, it would be, it would be our one source we could call. And that was what I was Let, me, let me be clear, and I have a comment, and I think I have uh, a minute to the agenda myself. But let me ask a question. Can you read back what the uh, Mr. Ross's motion was? I thought it was to bring it here, not to have a no, 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 no. no. I don't, Thank you. I got it. Uh, was for tele in September was for teleconference and be available to come on the said the 11th of the 12th of our normal meeting. Okay, so only available. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah, I misstated that. We no, need to change it. Actually, I. You you said. You indicated our, our October meeting on the 12th? Yeah, the 12th was the next meeting. Okay. I'm going to withdraw the, the previous motion and restate it again. Chair moves to have outside counsel Stephen Larson to be available to participate in executive session on the 28th of September 2016 via teleconference. Additionally, to have Steve Larson participate if necessary in BOCC proceedings, including executive session on October 12th, 2016. Uh, do I have a second for that? I have a second for that. Okay. Now we have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion on that? Um, Mr. Chairman, I'm going to 
make a second motion for an addition, related addition to the agenda today. I think um, it's time, and I am going to move that we, um, the board, approve the report from Mr. Larson from Mountain State and from, I think, and it doesn't need to be the district attorney that's already been public. I'm going to move that the board um, approve that the report from Mountain State Supporter Council and Mr. Larson's Johnson Rapucci be given to our county attorney for review to be available for the same meeting in your motion. We have in addition, oh, okay, okay, let's, 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 let's stop right there. Okay. 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 Yeah, I, 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 ideas out there. Um, Can you ask for a second? Uh, ask for a second. I'll second that. Okay. Um, first of all,
discussed it. The chair moves to call the question. Do I have a second? We have a second. Right? Yeah. On, mm -hmm. on calling the question. Second. No. You, I, you second calling the question. I'll second. Okay. Uh, question has been called. All in favor, aye. 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 Okay. Motion uh, number four then passes. No. We just. Yeah, I stand. You have. Because you were not uh, present or involved in, in these deliberations earlier on. I wasn't. So uh, I uh, and, and, and so th there was a, a specific reason um, why why the majority of this board voted to, to engage outside counsel and to proceed as such to this point. Um, and call it whatever you want. Uh, it was it was the opinion of the majority of the board that our in-house counsel was conflicted on this particular issue and, and that we, we would uh, be advised by outside counsel. And I think common sense uh, dictates that we uh, consider the advice of outside counsel and bring this matter to a close. I therefore oppose uh, Commissioner Rowland's motion to release this confidential document to the county attorney. And I would simply say in your discussion, Respectfully disagree in that the accusation of conflicted was never has never been substantiated. It was done and done unfounded in my opinion. I think in the opinion of lots of others, but we don't need to argue that. I think the point is where we are in the recommendations from these three reports, one of which has already been given to the county attorney because it came from the district attorney as a public document. But the other two, it is time to return to the team and the staff that we have in-house. To, to determine how we uh, resolve this issue, which I think has been clearly determined to be uh, right for resolution. And um, it just doesn't, in my opinion, make any sense, and there is no basis other than accusations that were never substantiated that would prevent that from being the appropriate uh, approach, and that's all I have to say. Okay, well, I'll, I'll close on this note. Um, what you're suggesting we do decision by the Board of County Commission as well as the county. Uh, dangerous place to go. Uh, I would uh, hope that in the future uh, we can rely on uh, in-house counsel on most all matters and other than highly specialized ones. In this
this case, it was very deliberate, very drawn out, uh, created a lot of anxiety on everybody's part, and uh, would be, a, like I said, a, a decision in contravention of the previous decision by the majority of this board. Uh, so we have a right to make the decisions going forward as well. Um, so, so, um, how do we think you uh, that do? We, 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 we have that. Thank you. 
resolution. That's something that well, we, we should be able to trust that at least our attorney would keep that information private between us. Then at, and at that point, it's that school. Well, so if that information goes out, maybe we've got a problem. Okay. I, I, I didn't really want to go here, but, but to, give you, to give you an example, Mr. Wilcox, and I'm not trying to be stubborn, I'm just trying to do the right thing. I understand. Okay. Uh, efforts were made to, to maintain confidentiality throughout this entire process, and uh, I'm not speaking out of school because this happened in a public meeting that was recorded. Uh, our county attorney breached confidence in that in, in a public meeting by stating
if we're going to continue this matter, it conflicts with the previous motion to include our attorney in the discussion with the outside attorney. And I don't know what the timing of the reconsideration is, but if we have a meeting with the outside attorney on this matter prior to the reconsideration of this motion being made, um, that doesn't work. So we're going to either have to have a special meeting and consider my motion between now and the time you your motion for to bring the outside attorney in to make a determination whether my motion will be approved or turned out. Well, that, that would certainly be. That's the only way I can see to do it. But I would expect that this be considered before um, Mr. Larson is brought in to discuss this matter. Well, we can consider it in the executive session on the 28th. We call a special meeting to do it. Sure. 
chair wishes to uh, move to amend Commissioner Rowling's motion to add an item number five to uh, allow participation of in-house in counsel on the Johnson and Fuji matter. Uh, further moves that uh, this item be continued to September 21st, 9 a.m. Chairman, I move that we accept the agenda as amended. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.
pursuing grants for economic development opportunities. We have a, uh, uh, just updated last year our comprehensive economic development strategy to include 11 items uh, for our county. Uh, among them were the, uh, and this gives us the opportunity to, of course, to look for grant funding to uh, pursue items of interest to the public uh, and taxpayers. Uh, for example, Logistics and distribution and transportation of products and that type of industrial development is being referred to in, in, in the profession, real estate profession, as the new retail. I don't know how many people, it would be easier to say how many people have not supported something online. I mean, Amazon Prime Day, I mean, this is really here and today, and we have an opportunity, perhaps out on the I 7 corridor, to encourage. So uh, that's what I did on the chaos. Uh, 
Public comment is a time when any citizen may bring forth items of interest or concern. During this time, each individual will have three minutes to present views on county matters. In the interest of time, please have your comments prepared for presentation, as each person will be allowed one opportunity to propose the podium. Please keep your comments to a three-minute maximum. No formal action will be taken on these items during this time due to open meeting provisions. However, the items may be placed on a future posted agenda if action is required. If you have comments on a regular agenda item, please hold your comments until that item is up for consideration. The public comment portion of the DOCC meeting is not to be used for political or campaign purposes. Comments and questions should be limited to matters of current county affairs and business. When you approach the podium, please identify yourself, spell your last name, and give your address. I read that whole thing. Somebody's going to have to talk. <laughs> Mr. Harris? Yeah. Bill Harris, 808 Caribou, Simley, Colorado. And uh, the subject is marijuana. Uh, it's been in times past the board's position that we don't want marijuana in Over County. Check your map. Simla is in Over County. Uh, it's going to be on the ballot in Simla, and rest assured, it will probably be voted in. Now, I know we are a whole new town. It basically means you don't have too much to say about it. But yet, the VOCC has in times past said we don't want it in our, in our county. But you still have influence in the county and in Simla. We need as much help as we can possibly get from the VOCC and from our sheriff, because there again, for home rule, he doesn't have too much power in the cinema, but yet it's like a cancer, this marijuana. We're going to grow it, we're going to sell it, and we're going to manufacture everything, and it will be for recreational purposes as well. So uh, when it gets past the city limits, then it's going to be in your back door It'll be in your front room. We need your help. 383 voters in Simla can put this thing through. There is out-of-state people coming into Simla now and dangling $1 million. That's how much money you will bring into the town of Simla in one year. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but everybody in Simla says, oh, this is the golden fleece. We want that million dollars. We want to get paved roads. They don't say a thing about the criminal element that's going to come in. They don't say a thing about how much it's going to cost us to protect the residents in Simla. The majority of us in Simla, we all carry guns. The majority of them know how to use it. But the criminal element comes in, and they also know how to use it, and they got bigger guns. And the sheriff's department has to patrol between Simla and Lyman, and that's wide open space. There's nothing there. So they're going to be infiltrating the town and bringing this stuff into the town, and it's going to stress and stretch our sheriff's department. You control the budget for the sheriff, he's going to need an airplane to keep track of this stuff. We're going to need all the help we can get, and you are influential enough in our county to help us stop this. 383 voters, that's all. But they're not being given the truth. And we need to get the truth out and try to persuade these 383. At 6.30 this morning, there was almost a fight in the restaurant dealing with the subject of marijuana. One person said, we've been giving our kids marijuana for the last 20 years in Holland. And a person stood up, stood up and said, well, if it's so good, why don't you go back to Holland and go to work instead of working at the Wakers here in the restaurant. Things got out of hand there. Things need to be taken care of and need to be taken care of correctly. And it, the people perish for lack of knowledge. And we do not have knowledge as concerning the pros and cons of marijuana other than it's going to bring money into our city. And there's no doubt that sounds good, but the majority of the voters in Simla are senior citizens. 
but we have a brand new $25 million school with 300 kids in it, and rest assured, they'll know where they can get the marijuana at if it's right down the street from them. We have a board of trustees that said we're going to put it on the ballot, and they did, and it is on the ballot, but we need your help. As, uh, as leaders of our county, and I know we're home world and your hands are tied, the sheriff's hands are tied, but still in all, you're influential, and we need your help, we need your influence to try to persuade the voters to vote this thing down. And just remember, they're coming in from Denver with all kinds of information about how prosperous it's going to make your town. But they don't have any way of telling how much it's going to cost us in the long run. And they're supposed to, our town council has to put together a group of individuals to try to police this thing. And it's not going to work. So we need your help, and we need your help now. So thank you for your time. Thank you.
short statement. I think I can have a memorandum to present to the board as a confidential memorandum by September 28th, probably in two weeks. Um, I wanted to let you know that progress is being made on this. I would like to review the pictures provided by CBS and I move forward in providing a memorandum to the board.
to uh, recognize the overall 30,000 foot view of the county, not necessarily individual uh, needs, uh, even though those needs may exist. And we're just asking the board to be back at what they've done so well for the last two years under the direction of the county manager and re-engage uh, and work together as a team to come up with a budget using a basic zero-based expense budget increase over last year as a starting point, which is what we do anyway. So I'm just stating the obvious there. I'm not, I'm not making any suggestions. It's not already being done. And if that's what we're trying to accomplish, we just need to stay on track. We need everybody working together. And we need everybody concentrating on giving us a good, viable, workable, reasonable budget uh, by the 15th of October. And that's basically what we're trying to accomplish. And I think Commissioner Wilcox's uh, revision is more professionally stated than the original one. It says the same thing. And um, I hope it's clearly understood by the county manager and can speak for himself. It is. Yeah. I would just indicate that uh, Commissioner Wilcox, are you satisfied with the motion language? Yes, I am. The direction of the um, staff. I think that gives them uh, direction and gives them the latitude to work together Okay. Um, I see our county manager is up. Good morning, Commissioner. Good evening, county manager. Uh, given the proposed direction, um, we appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, welcome. In addition, we had a meeting uh, scheduled with the commissioners for tomorrow to present the, the first round of the budget. Um, that meeting will be canceled. We don't have time to revise or revisit those numbers. Staff will be sending out meeting invitations. We hope to do that meeting. We still want to do that meeting before we um, present the budget to you on October 15th for statute. So we'll be send sending out meeting invitations uh, for the week of the 26th. We're, we're shooting right now for uh, Tuesday the 27th at 2 p.m. So just informational. That'll be the commissioners? That'll be the commissioners. So it'll be a posted meeting. And you'll see all of your elected officials and department heads that participate in the budget to talk about their their particular part in the budget and how the budget works and, and uh, their suggestions for 2017. Perfect. So that would be the presentation of the draft budget um, in advance of the actual presentation of the draft budget on the 6th of the 12th of month. It's just moving the meeting that was scheduled for tomorrow. So we were going to present the budget to you guys tomorrow to the 27th. Mm -hmm.
motion to amend and add, if necessary, to the first day of this ballot. Just if necessary, I'm open. Yeah, I'll receive one. I'll withdraw my motion. moves to direct Steve Larson and outside council to be available if necessary to participate in executive session on September 28, 2016 via telephone conference and to direct Steve Larson to participate if necessary in the board proceedings including executive session on the 12th of October 